Hello, Coco. It's Pastor Keith, and it is morning prayer for Saturday, December 23rd. Oh, wow. Two more days till the first day of Christmas. And you know, after that, we get 11 more days of Christmas. So all of you have sent your uh, cards out or gotten your presents already. You're just you're just ahead of time, okay? You're just way ahead of time. So, um, those of us who do our gifts after December 25th are on time. I may even have my tree up by today. We'll see. Um, yeah. You know, this birth of Jesus. Ever since he was born, we've been arguing about who he is. We really have. So, here's a reading from John uh, 40 to 52. John 7, 40 to 52. When they heard these words, some in the crowd said, this really is the prophet. Others said, this is the Messiah. Remember uh, last Sunday, the gospel reading was, uh, they said to John the baptizer, are you Elijah, the prophet, or are you the Messiah, the king? He says, neither one. I'm the herald, the forerunner. So others are saying, surely the Messiah does not come from Galilee, does he? That's where Jesus grew up in Nazareth. Has not the scripture said that the Messiah is descended from David and comes from Bethlehem, way down south in Judea, the village where David lived? So there was a division in the crowd because of him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. Then the temple police went back to the chief priests and Pharisees who asked them, why did you not arrest him? The police answered, never has anyone spoken like this. And then the Pharisees replied, surely you have not been deceived too, have you? Has any one of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, they are accursed. Nicodemus, a Pharisee, who had gone to see Jesus before, remember John 3, for God so loved the world? That was in response to questions from Nicodemus. So Nicodemus, who had gone to Jesus before and who was one of them, asked, Our law does not judge people without first giving them a hearing to find out what they are doing, does it? Ah, due process. They replied, Surely you are not also from Galilee, are you? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to arise from Galilee. And they're just all worked up about this guy from Nazareth in Galilee who was born in Bethlehem of Judea. And the police people are all divided. The police can't do anything. In fact, they're the ones who say, never has anyone spoken like this. Jesus, the spoken in flesh word of God coming to us at Christmas. Yeah. And then even the Pharisees say, well, we're all agreed. And Nicodemus goes, hold on one second, one second. Yeah. Jesus is coming. Maybe it'd be a good time to pray the prayer that has been attributed to St. Francis of Assisi, who is probably the uh, only saint that is uh, widely accepted outside the Catholic world as well as inside the Catholic world. I mean, St. Francis is the patron saint of pets, so he's got to be popular amongst us all, right? And I think this is a good Christmas prayer of faith. A poule, caca, let us pray. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying 
that we are born to eternal life. Amen. And as we do those things, giving, pardoning, dying, we do what Jesus did. It doesn't matter who he is. What, it matter, what matters is that we follow him in love, redemptive suffering, kindness, peace, instruments of peace. Be people of joy. Let joy live in your heart and share the joy of Christ with all you meet. Share joy by seeing good in each other. Share joy by remembering good times and hoping for good times yet to come. Share joy by praying for our world. In this Advent season, as it comes to a close, we need to see, feel, and share joy. As you go out into the wonder of God's creation, share joy, peace, and hope with those you meet. In the name of the Creator and the Redeemer and the Sanctifier. Amen. Just a reminder, tomorrow, Sunday, December 24th, Christmas Eve day, there will be no 8 a.m. service uh, and nothing will be uh, live streamed at that point. Until 10 a.m., we will Zoom and have in-person worship with communion. On Christmas Eve night, we will have uh, a 6 p.m. and an 8 p.m. Uh, Christmas Eve service with carols and candlelight. No communion then. Uh, the next day, Christmas Day at 10 a.m., we will have more Christmas carols and communion. I hope that's all clear. Uh, you can go to the website and check that out too. All right. And the dismissal. Go in peace. Christ is near. Thanks be to God.